okay so <coughs> i have finally um, set up my uh, porta pack h2 for uh, hack rf1 and um, of course initially i had uh, uh, some teething issues the display didn't come up the issue with that was basically the hack rf uh, uh, did not have the uh, porta pack uh, mahem uh, firmware loaded onto it then uh, i did a little bit of research and understood that and downloaded the firmware and once i updated the firmware using the uh, usb port of the uh, hack rf1 i was able to uh, uh, you know get the display and uh, now the porta pack uh, extension on top of the hack rf1 is ready to be used so i've connected the antenna uh, which has come with uh, uh, hack rf1 power on is pretty simple just press the button once and since this has a built-in battery it uh, powers on and uh, um, of course there are little drawback in terms of uh, the usage of the hardware by itself but uh, i mean in terms of the menu navigation etc although like you know this is a kind of an encoder with the selection button i'm not sure why that has been not uh, used for uh, fully functional uh, we need to use this uh, five buttons which are there on this uh, uh, user uh, uh management or like you know the user uh, experience part of it where the center button takes us to the uh, menu and uh, again i can use this uh, as my uh, selector to navigate through different options whatever are there right so i have uh, the signal reception and the signal transmission to capture and record the signal replay the signal the searching the scanning uh, option the microphone uh, option then uh, looking glass uh, some of the utilities uh, and the settings debugging options and the last one is of course the hack rf uh, functionality by itself so if you want to just switch to hack rf function not using the actual um, porta pack we could go select this option and uh, that will get enabled each one of this has lot of options uh, uh which are available within this which i am not actually going to talk about because there are already lot of videos which are already covered uh, these capabilities so i am not going to talk about that uh, this is just to uh, you know uh, get get uh, the basic uh, level of the uh, idea on how i actually went ahead and uh, Uh, physically installed the uh, porta pack uh, module on top of my hack rf board and then uploaded the firmware post that i am able to get this screen that's it thank you